guys! Welcome back to my channel. So this video is the beginning of a series called If I Were A. So my series If I Were A is a series about me transforming myself into a caricature version of myself in the realm or art style of an existing theme. So for this video I'm going to be transforming myself into a Tim Burton character. So Tim Burton was born August 25th, 1958, and he is an American filmmaker, animator, and artist. He is best known for his gothic fantasy and horror films such as Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Sleepy Hollow, Sweeney Todd. He has came out with so many amazing movies. He is known for being loyal to actors such as Johnny Depp and Helen Bonham Carter since they are featured in a lot of his films, and he has also worked a lot with Danny Elfman who has composed scores for all but three of the films Burton has directed. When you hear the name Tim Burton, there is no denying that he is an icon in the film industry and a huge inspiration of mine. So to start off, I'm actually going to leave my makeup on, and there's a reason why. I'm going to leave it on because I really want this to be a transformation from my everyday self that you guys are very familiar with, I look like this every day, <laughs> to a Tim Burton version of exactly this. So we're just going to be adding on top instead of replacing and adding on. So let's go ahead and play with some darker colors. So first things first, I went right into hollowing my face using contour powder and gray eyeshadow for a skinny and sick look. That is definitely a staple feature in his character design, so I could not have skipped that step. To make my cheekbones sharper, I grabbed a concealer and defined the contour even more. And to top off the illusion, I'm adding highlighter to the top of my cheekbones to make them pop. So then I grabbed a dark brown and hollowed out my eye sockets, which is also a huge difference for the transformation because a lot of his characters do have sunken eyes. and I use the same eyeshadow to create hollows under my eyes as well, since that insomniac, deep-set eye look is the second most famous staple in his character designs. Now what I also noticed in his work is that he likes his characters to have really sharp, small, and thin features for the most part, so I use the same eyeshadow to thin my nose out a bit. And honestly, I played around with the lips a lot. I was first going to do a dark purple lip color, but realized that's way too dark for the vibe that I'm personally going for. So I removed it, corrected it, and played around with it until I liked it. He has many characters with different size lips from big to small, so I just went with what felt right and used Mrs. Lovett from Sweeney Todd as a big inspiration. I also took some great eyeshadow and darkened my eyelids and uh, under my eyes again just because I felt like I wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic. Then to top it off, I added some brown freckles around the nose and cheeks. I really love how it came out. I was going for like a natural beauty in his art realm, and I think I achieved that. Okay, so I think this is all what I'm gonna do, honestly, just because, like, not all of his characters are super, like, Frankenstein looking, and I feel like I wouldn't necessarily be, like, a Sally type or a Corpse Bride type. I'd be more of, a, like, a Mrs. Lovett type, because I love Sweeney Todd so much, so I was inspired by her with the makeup, but I still look exactly like myself and not like her. So, I think this is, like, I'm really happy with this. This is what I would look like in his world, in my opinion. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and do the hair. Let's do the hair. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> So for the hair, frizzy hair is another staple trait, which is why I started messing up my hair. And I just decided to go for a simple half up, half down. It's very vintagey looking that I thought would kind of match with the dress that I'm about to wear. And I left the rest of the hair as is. Not many of his characters have neat hairstyles unless they are the damsel, like Victoria from Corpse Bride or Joanna from Sweeney Todd. And I could have gone for that, but I wanted to have a little bit more fun. So for the outfit, I found this gorgeous Victorian style wedding dress at a thrift shop. And it's perfect because if I had my own Tim Burton movie, I would love if at some point I wore a magical wedding dress. And I don't know, it's just so pretty against the otherwise dark appearance. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I am so excited. This is the closest I'm gonna get to being in a Tim Burton movie, not being in it, so. So here is the completed look. So while I was doing the makeup, I actually came up with a little backstory to my character. So this is the backstory I gave her. Set in a Victorian era village, a love witch named Scarlet, who leads a lonely life due to her controversial powers, has fallen in love with the son of the king who is next in line for the throne. To her surprise, she finds out the prince has fallen in love with her without the use of her love magic, but the prince accidentally reveals his true intentions with her, and Scarlet must find a way to get rid of the prince before the prince gets rid of her. all done and that concludes the end of this video if you guys want more videos like this make sure you leave a thumbs up before you go and comment down below what art style or franchise movie franchise realm do you want me to be in next what, what do you want to see me in a disney movie a disney princess movie a um superhero movie i will do anything so make sure you comment your awesome ideas down below and make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss if i do your suggestion so i hope you guys have an amazing day thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video